Eight ways your soul is communicating with you. The call from your soul. Hello everyone. The soul is a part of ourselves that makes us who we are. Our soul continues to live even when we experience death. In other words, what you feel, what your deepest desires are, and how you see the world is closely linked to your soul. Thus the soul can be eternal or mortal and immortal. In different ways, your soul can contact you from some sort of energy level and in so many forms of mysterious manners. These include character, feeling, thinking, perception, consciousness, and many more. In this video, we have compiled some ways in which you can notice when your soul is trying to communicate with you. Let's move on to the main thing. 1. Synchronize occurrences. Synchronized occurrences are random moments that you come across to make you aware that, in the end, they're not just coincidences. In fact, they will point to the bigger picture when we connect all the events into one. You'll then realize what's coming in and out from those meaningful messages to creating a bigger event in your life. Number two, letters or numbers repetition. Letters and numbers are another common way for the soul to try to communicate with you. They will show you signs with specific numbers, letters, and words frequently throughout your life journey. While you might not think much, there's always a silver lining to it, especially if you remember something upon encountering these messages. Three, gut feeling and intuition. Do you sometimes make choices based on your own intuition? Also, when you're about choosing one thing, but your gut says something else, that's a sign of your soul telling you the answer when you're uncertain about things. Your soul is connected with your inner self because they understand your needs, including what makes you happy or sad. Number four, dreams. Another way for the soul to communicate with you is through your dreams. Dreams are vivid, that almost every single one of your dreams is meaningful. For some reason, the people you see in your dreams, the place, and the scenario have meant something. Either they're warning signs or a happy event sometimes. Soon you should be aware of. Therefore, open your eyes to see every possible message the soul is trying to speak to you. Number five, visions. In terms of visions, your soul will come across through a premonition, a short glimpse, or just from your own thoughts. Visions are different from dreams. They appear directly into your mind when you think or feel agitated and under pressure. Visions can be powerful since you're able to think about what's going in the future that you should pay close attention to. Number six, anxiety. Have you ever dealt with anxiety for no reason at all? In some cases, anxiety is not all a psychological state or any consequence of tension or stress. Your anxiousness can also result of your soul trying to alert you of danger or any other unpleasant situation. It may happen around the time just as you plan on doing something, but strangely you feel anxious inside and have to cancel the plan. Number seven, that odd or strange feeling. At one point in your life, you'll feel odd about some things or have a strange feeling that something is not right at the moment. It's probably hard to figure out what's going to happen or what it actually means, but your soul will eventually aim you directly towards the things that you need in the present or the future when the time has come. Number eight, meditation. Meditation can also be a form of speaking to your soul. When you go into a deep meditation, you will go through a trance state where you can fully connect with your own soul. Experts in meditation experience themselves communicating with their soul through voices as well as visions. The communication between you and your soul is highly personal. It's not a scientific matter, but more in depth and involving the mysterious aspects that are unexplainable. Yet your soul is here for you to guide you emotionally and spiritually. Well guys, do you think this information is useful for you? I hope you can gain a new understanding from watching this video. Subscribe to this channel to watch more insightful videos in the future. Thanks for watching.